Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel where today I am bringing you a set of two replays in two different tanks, although this is covering one tank, but I'll get to that in a second. But I'm doing this because this is a continuation of my favourite tank series. It's been a long time since I visited this series, the first one I did was in the K tank, and my plan was to do my favourite tanks from all tiers in all eras. And for whatever reason, it didn't clock in my head when going out to record this footage that I'd already done Era 2. So, hey, I'm changing it slightly. I'm now just going to go with my favourite tanks across the entire game. So as you can see from what's happening on the screen here, we're looking at the Conqueror. Or should I say Conquerors? Um, this is Cold War. There are two Conquerors. There's two variants of the Conqueror in World War in the World War Two mode. You've got the Tier Nine Conqueror, and you've got the Tier Ten Super Conqueror. In Cold War, we have the Conqueror Mark One, and we have the Conqueror Mark Two. The Mark One is the Tech Tree version. The Mark Two is the Premium version. So I've got two replays, one in each tank, and these, the the Conqueror Tech Tree tank Tech Tree version is not a bad vehicle. It's got a fantastically good gun, it's got very good DPM, uh, but it doesn't have the armour of the World War II variant. So if you're coming from World War II into Cold War expecting it to play the same, you're, well, you will be disappointed because you can't play it as hull down as you can the Tier 9 or the Tier 10. But if you can get past that, then you've got a, you've got a heavy tank here that is incredibly enjoyable to play. Why, though, is the Conqueror my favourite? Well, I am currently not that far... I'm recording this not that far from the Tank Museum, and the Tank Museum does have a Conqueror, and I've been there several times in the last couple of days, and I have just spent... I'd say I've spent a good hour or so just wandering around the Conqueror, because this tank, to me, it's just... I think it's a beautiful machine, and it is monstrously big this this vehicle is absolutely enormous and i like its historical significance the conqueror is it's the last of its breed really it is the last dedicated heavy tank developed by the british because khrushchev decided that he didn't want heavy tanks in Russia, and that was the whole point of vehicles like the 4005 and the Conqueror combating the IS-3. So Russia took a different turn, which meant, well, Britain no longer needs these heavy tanks, and the Conqueror got replaced by the Centurion, or the Centurion became much more popular in Britain and around the world. And then after the Centurion, the main battle tank came into effect. So. The Conqueror, with its 120mm gun, it's it's just... It's the last of its kind. And as sad as that might be, as sad as that is, I still love this vehicle. I really, really do love the, the aura of the Conqueror. I love the presence of the Conqueror. And I still play my World War II Conqueror from time to time. But in this video, we're taking a look at both of the Cold War Conquerors. So that's my personal reason for liking this tank. I think it's just a thing of beauty. And if the museum can possibly one day get it running, uh, they I spoke to someone at the museum as of this recording yesterday to say, you know, could it run again? And he said, well, it's got an engine in it. They just need the time and the, the funding to get it working again. But uh, obviously they have countless numbers of tanks in that museum so it's not high up on their priority list but nevertheless this is my favorite of the con uh, of my favorite uh, one of my favorite tanks so this game has just ended didn't do brilliantly well uh, you know not terrible not brilliant but hey gives you an idea of what the conqueror the tech tree conqueror can do and it's also got this kick-ass 3d skin on it I prefer this 3D skin. I prefer the, the the Mark One skin, 3D skin. I think it's it, it enhances the uh, the aura of the Conqueror very very nicely. I love it. I love the flag draped over the engine deck as well. 
But now we are playing the Conqueror Mark II. And this also has a 3D skin, which you can see at the moment. Not quite as striking as the Tech Tree uh, 3D skin. But hey, it's got one. So we have two Conquerors in game. One's a premium, one's Tech Tree. The question you're probably asking yourself is, well, why should I buy the Conqueror Mark II? And um, if I'm being honest, I don't really have a good answer for you because... The Conqueror Mark 1, I'll just quickly run over the statistics, okay? Fully upgraded. 408mm of pen, standard. 452mm of pen, gold. 260 on Hesh. Alright, fine. 510, 510, 660. Damage for each of them. 2,950 hit points. 51.5 kilometers an hour max speed. 500m view range. 484 moving concealment. Okay, alright, alright, fine. That's, that's the tech tree. Let's move over to the... Uh, the premium. 408, 452, 260. Hang on a second. That's exactly the same as the tech tree. Huh? Okay. Damage. 510, 510, 660. That's... Hang on. That's also the same as the tech tree. Okay. Uh, 2,900 hit points. That's 50 less than the tech tree. Um, 43.5 kilometers an hour top speed. That That's slower than the tech tree. Um... 500 meters of urine, that's the same as the tech tree. 484 meters of moving concealment, uh, that's the same as the tech tree. So, hmm, this is a problem that the Conqueror Mark II has always had. It's, statistically, it's worse than the tech tree version. And I remember when this tank came out, I was, I was hyped for another Conqueror, because obviously, I love the Conqueror. The only thing that it's really got going for it is the economy stats. The 55% silver boost, which, hey, that's 55% extra silver. You've got 15% tank XP boost, 5% free XP, and a 15% crew XP. So it's not a crew trainer, it's not a massive silver earner, but it's better than the tech tree. So if you want to play a slightly worse version of the Conqueror, but get some extra silver, then the Conqueror Mark II is for you. However, it's a premium, so it's going to set you back um, actual gold. It's going to set you back, you know, actual currency, whereas you can, in theory, you can get the Conqueror Mark I for free. So, yeah, it's its price tag is 11,000 gold. I mean, 11,000 gold or just grind to the Conqueror in the middle of Era 2, which, saying that, with the introduction of the new Russian line, with the T10, I think it's the T80s that are in there as well. The Conqueror is probably outmatched slightly from a game pace point of view. And that shot right there is a good example of how you can't really bounce off the turret. You just, the shot will just go straight through. But anyway, yeah, 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 you're not, it's not a strong tank. I'm not going to tell you guys to go out and get play the Conqueror at the tech tree or the premium version. It's not well armoured. It's big, it's quite slow. It does have an incredibly good gun though. This 120 mm, 120 mm gun, it's it's accurate, it reloads quickly, and it's got good alpha on it. And that's one of the reasons, well, on top of my you know personal reasons that I've already explained for liking the Conqueror, I I do like the gun performance. It's it's not you can't play it like an armoured heavy. You've got to play it like uh, a, a, a slow medium, I want to say. If you can do that, then you'll do well in the Conqueror. Otherwise, you're going to get shot up. Um, and that can be frustrating. I am getting shot up at the moment. I've only got 21 hit points left. And you'd be forgiven for thinking that this is game over for me. But for f there you go. Fortunately... <laughs> Kill shot from the M60, he doesn't shoot me in my side, he bounces off my front upper plate, which gives me the uh, the time to hide behind rocks, because that's what you do when you've only got 21 hit points left. Now, I thought the, I thought the 4 to 11 there was coming straight for me, but for whatever reason, he decided to take a turn up the hill, which gave me his side. I put that shot into him, and he carries on going. That 4 to 11 clearly didn't want an easy kill. So between now and the end of the game, it's just driving around waiting for the last 
couple of tanks or the last single T10 to die. So there you go, guys. Conqueror, or the two versions of the Conqueror that we have in Cold War. Play the Tech Tree version. You don't have to play the Mark II. Obviously, you can probably skip over the Mark II. You know, don't you don't have to get one because it's not as it's not as good as the Tech Tree version. But I love the Conqueror. Whether it's good or bad in game, it's just a tank that uh, I really, really like. I just love it. It's a favourite. And that's the whole point of this series. So there you go. That is my second favourite vehicle behind... Well, it's another favourite of mine, as well as the K-Tank, which we've already covered. So, that's all I've got for this one, guys. If you've enjoyed this video, please leave it a like. If not a dislike, subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you in the next one.